Hey everyone, I hope you're having a good day so far. So I filmed this at night, so that's why um, I'm doing a voiceover because the boys were sleeping. But I wanted to go ahead and show you how I did my tree this year. And I did it with the um, circle, kind of like a candy cane type of shape. I had to kind of unwind it. I should have done this video a whole month ago, and I am so sorry I did not do this sooner. So um, I started with my ribbon, and I just tucked it right behind my tree topper at the very top. And now this is where you can get creative. I just started adding pushing it into my tree here now if you want a tight spiral you can do that so you have maybe like five or six um, swirls going around your tree mine ended up with about three and a half and that is what I liked it also uses a little bit less ribbon so if you don't have a ton of ribbon this is a way to do it and you can see as you go back on the back part of the tree you have to fix a little bit but I'm going down in a nice angle I don't want anything to go straight across because that's not the look that I was going for. Um, and you can see I'm telling you that now. Go at an angle here and I try to keep my layers um, equal distance apart and you can do that differently. You can add different uh, ribbons to it too so you can have multi layers there. But you can see I added berries into my tree and I use a lot of Dollar Tree ornaments on this thing um, and just um, some Walmart cheap ones that I have. But I really like the different layers that you can see here. So you can see how it just kind of slowly tapers down and just adds a little dimension to the tree and I'm obsessed with the buffalo truck this year. So I really, really liked the way this looked. And then I'll show it to you here at night also. And then I'm going to show you two examples of another way that you can do the ribbon. One person did it with the banners from Target and the other one just used the thicker mesh. So now for the second option, I absolutely love the way this turned out and I really like this and I actually kept my tree this way, is to take it again, I'm just adding it to the very top of the tree and I'm just pushing it in with my hand to hold it. You don't have to wire this in at all and I'm leaving a little bit of a gap there so it billows out from the tree and then you can get slightly bigger in your gaps as you go down the tree or you can keep them all the same length. I think going just a little bit bigger it makes the tree, and since the tree gets wider at the bottom, I think it looks better and I'll show you here right now. See how there's a bit of a gap there as it billows out and all I'm doing is just pushing my hand all the way into the tree so it secures it in there. It's nothing too complicated here and then you can do this as um, close together as you want and here I decided to bring this one a little bit further away you can see it just adds so much to the tree it adds a lot of depth and just character to it and then I'm kind of going up the tree here in a diagonal form so going to the right and then to the left and so you can get a lot of shape going back and forth there and adding another ribbon on top of that would be absolutely beautiful the way these two ladies did. Um, I just didn't have any extra ribbon, but you can see the different look that this gives the tree and I think it's really stunning and beautiful. I think another ribbon on top, maybe like a burlap one on top would be really pretty to kind of contrast with the red, but I don't have any. So. I hope that you found this ribbon tutorial helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I hope that if you need to make any adjustments to your tree that you can get that done before uh, Christmas since we are only days away now. So I wish you a very Merry Christmas and a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you all soon. Bye.